Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome back to the Happy Hearts. I know what you're thinking. Can you use the Sony ZV-1 camera or ZV-1 camera outdoors in the rain, in bad weather, in a thunderstorm or even snow? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm about to find out because I bought this. It's the JJC rain cover, but I'm not quite ready to try it out. I probably need something like this. Ah, this is more like it. So, can you use your Sony ZV-1 camera or ZV-1 out in the rain or in bad weather? What is the best waterproof jacket or, or weatherproof cover that you can get for your Sony ZV-1 camera? I'm using it right now. This is the JJC rain cover. I bought it on Amazon. I've got a link in the description from which I earn a commission if you buy it from that link. I'm going to show you how I put this rain jacket on. I'm going to do an unboxing. I guess it's a bit of a review because I'm actually filming with it right now. So you'll be able to see if this is something that you want to do to, to weatherproof your Sony ZV-1 camera. Because I want you to see what it's like actually filming in the rain. So I'm doing a lot of talking just so you get a sense of whether or not this kind of weatherproof protection for your Sony ZV-1 is something that you might try out on your camera. This is what comes inside the pack. And then, whoa, you get two. Fantastic. This is what comes in the pack. It looks like a bag. <laughs> it's basically a bag with no bottom. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this over the camera. I'm gonna wrap this around my ZV-1 lens. I'm not being paid by JCC for any of this, but I've got a JJC lens adapter that's stuck onto the end of the ZV-1 lens. That gives me something for this cord to wrap around. And also hopefully this UV lens will sort of protect the mechanism inside. Now what I really don't want to happen is for the camera to turn off and to retract the lens. That's the only downside that I've just suddenly thought about with this, with this lens. Oh, there, there's gone it's gone it's gone it's exactly what i want didn't want to happen it's stopped halfway and there's an error message turn power off then on so it's stopped itself it could tell there's an obstruction okay now it's back in so I'll turn it back on again and okay that works you can't let it turn off otherwise it will jam up the mechanism. So what I might do is to just kind of fashion a lens hole, <laughs> but not obstruct it if it turns off. Now that I know that the camera's running, I know that the lens isn't gonna retract. So this is my Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 camera operating out in the rain. And <laughs> so long as the camera is running, so that the lens doesn't retract. I, I didn't realize that that would be the biggest concern. I thought my biggest concern was the camera getting wet. But because I have my lens adapter and I've got a UV filter protecting the lens, I've got the rain cover uh, just behind it. Uh, no rain seems to be leaking in. This seems to work. I can't believe I've got my Sony ZV-1. Whoa, I've got my Sony ZV-1 out in the rain. Let's elevate it a bit so that oh, it's more head height. This is a bit of a cumbersome shoot, but I think if I keep talking and filming and keep looking at, at each camera, you, you'll get a sense of what's going on. And basically, I just want to keep talking to test <laughs> that my Sony ZV-1 camera can actually cope with shooting in the rain with this JJC rain cover protecting it. So what do you think? Is this something you would do with your Sony ZV-1? Leave me a, a comment, uh, leave me a message in the comments below. I made a whole other video about some other things I've used to protect my Sony ZV-1 camera. This video here is my unboxing of the, the lens adapter ring. You basically stick it to the front of your Sony ZV-1. Also, I've got a screen protector for the Sony ZV-1 camera monitor display screen. All of these videos videos by the way are in the description below. Now I've been filming for about five minutes so I just want to show you what I'm actually looking at. I'll show you how the, the ZV-1 is coping. As you can see the, the rain jacket has kind of collected some rain but it looks like the camera is completely protected. And the great way with this design of having the bag with no bottom is if I, I can actually show you I can put my hand up inside the bag and I can make any adjustments that I need to. I could, if I wanted to, put my hand underneath and flip the monitor. 
and uh, make any adjustments that I need either with the buttons or the, the touch screen here. If this is something that you might like to try out for your camera, I'll put links to the JJC Sony ZV-1 camera rain jacket, this weatherproof jacket. That link is in the description. If you click on that, Amazon shower coins on me, not rain, they shower actual money on me at no extra cost to you. So thanks so much if you buy stuff using those links in the description. I'm gonna keep talking now till I get absolutely drenched just for your viewing pleasure. So if you give me a thumbs up, I'll know that someone reached this point of the video. Really appreciate you being there. Now let's take the rain cover off. I'll take off the drawstring. Great, so as you can see, the main camera body is completely dry and that's fantastic considering we are in a storm right now. So this is, this is absolutely brilliant. The thing to watch out for obviously is here. We don't want water to go into the camera body when the camera switches off. Put the jacket on while you're recording so that the, the camera doesn't retract the lens. We really don't want to retract the lens while there's water on the barrel there. I'm going to be really careful about drying off this exterior. This is the part of the review or the test of the JJC rain cover I was looking forward to, the walking in the park in the very heavy rain. <laughs> But I've got a little problem that's just occurred because I've gone from indoors to outdoors. The lens adapter UV filter that I put on my ZV-1, so I'm trying not to tread in deep mud. As you can see, it's fogged up. Basically, where we've had a change in temperature, it's fogged up on the, on the inside. I'm gonna take this off now, and that should be better. But now my lens is completely unprotected. But if I tilt it down, the rain doesn't seem to be hitting it. This might work if you're not going from inside to outside a lot. Shall I give it a lick? I don't know why I'm thinking that giving this a lick will somehow stop the fogging up. I'm probably thinking of that moment in Jaws with Richard Dreyfus. Yeah, all right, I'll give it a lick. And we'll see if that stops it fogging up. I'm cleaning it very elegantly on my jogging bottoms. Well, let's put it back on, see what happens. There, I know it's not ideal, but I'll keep it like this for a moment just to, just to show you what it's like. The, what I'm doing with the sound is I'm, I'm using my Boyer BY-M1 clip-on Lavalier microphone. There's a whole unboxing and uh, audio test review video that I made in this very park. That's on screen now and the link to that is inevitably in the description. But I'm now walking around in very, very heavy rain with my JJC rain cover on my Sony ZV-1 camera. But this could be quite exciting, couldn't it? If you do want to go out in some extreme conditions. This seems to work quite well. This is what I can see. This is my Sony ZV-1 camera with the JJC rain cover, rain jacket uh, protecting it. I've got a really nice, my favorite hand grip. What do you think? It'd be great to hear from you. So I might need to wipe the lens. <laughs> it's really made things much worse. What do you think? Is this something you would use on your camera? Leave me a comment or just say hi. It'd be great to hear from you. All of my best budget Sony ZV-1 camera accessories are in this video here and this is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Can I go indoors now? It's a bit cold. <laughs>